Hey guys, it is Sunday here and it is freezing in Michigan again. Uh, we got a couple of days of warm weather and now it's back to being chilly. Um, so yesterday after I got some stuff done uh, that I needed to do on the house, um, we decided to take a drive. Um, yesterday being my uh, grandmother who passed away his birthday. Um, so we took a drive yesterday um, to a Walmart that's in a, a town north of here. Um, and this is going to, the Walmart stuff's going to be on two videos. So we're going to do part of it today and part of it tomorrow. Um, so I was on the, the hunt for, uh, a few pops hoping that they would have them up there there because I can't find them around my local ones. And it's about a 45 minute drive to there, I think is what it was. But the other thing is, is we've been watching a lot of the videos where people do the Walmart secret clearance. <clears throat> And we did end up hitting a few things. So uh, let me just run through a couple of things that we picked up. So the first thing is, is uh, so some of the people in my office are coming back this week that were COVID positive. So I am double going to be double masking. And these um, packages here, these are two pack packages of the disposable masks. So I can put these underneath my other masks. Um, these were, I think, originally like $1.79 or $1 a piece. They were marked down to five cents. Um, so we picked up a bunch of these for five cents. I mean, why not? That's two and a half cents per mask. And, um, if it, if it helps me double mask and I can wear them a couple of days, that would be great. <clears throat> now, most of you guys know that I am in Michigan and we're still pretty bad. And obviously my office just, um, went through a whole COVID scare where we had a couple of people that, that came back positive and it kind of ran rampant through there and I got spared. Thank the Lord. Uh, I got spared, but <clears throat> I also have been running out of hand sanitizer because I've been using it. So you can see the price on the box is $3 and I haven't opened these yet. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty heavy. Um, they're all two fluid ounce and this was lemon basil sm smell. So uh, there's six of these. I don't know if you can see the six of these in this box and they, the sticker said three dollars, but when we scanned them on the Walmart app, they came up at a dollar. So obviously, that's um, what sixteen cents a piece or something like that is all that those worked out to be, which was awesome because I can leave one in the car, I can have one at the house, I can put one in my office, and uh, <clears throat> kind of recoup all of my different hand sanitizers. And then because I'm from Michigan, um, I saw this hat laying there. It was just kind of random. And it's the Detroit Red Wings. And as you guys know, I wear beanies all the time. And I can always give this to my brother, too. He's a big hockey fan. So the clearance sticker on it said $9. Which I was like, ooh, well, I'm not going to get it for 9 bucks Because you can get it. I can get them on Amazon for 5 Um, But we, I scanned the actual barcode. So the, the thing about the Walmart clearance is you can't scan the, uh, the yellow stickers. Uh, and even on the, the fronts of the, you need to scan the, the actual UPC barcodes is what you need to do. So when I scanned this one, this actually came up as, at a dollar. So for a dollar, why not? And it was originally fifteen ninety seven, So it's basically 90% off, which was great. So I picked that up. <clears throat> then, um, cause I'm in Michigan too, uh, I picked up these, which I can wear outer masks, um, and these are by these are actually by Foco, and I didn't know that. I looked on the back, and you guys have seen us in the well. I d I've done something in the past about Foco, um, but these also said that proceeds from this purchase will go to the Spartan Mast Hero Project, which directly helps keep all Spartans safe by providing masks to all those in need. So I'm a big Michigan State fan. Um, so as you can see, it said seven dollars, and these were originally thirteen ninety seven. Um, when you scan the barcode on the back, the UPC code, these came in at 50 cents. So 50 cents for these two masks as well. So um, that was great. And then I found one more item. And this is where my little Funko addiction comes in. Now, <clears throat> I'm hoping, and I know that it's, it's automatically going to devalue it because I'm going to have to open it. But it was still cool, and it's still a very iconic band. So um, I had the... ACDC Back in Black album, but as you can see, the head is looser than the body. And I figured a little bit of uh, Gorilla Glue 
and I can fix that. I'll just have to take the plastic off. Um, this one does have where you can punch out the holes in here. So um, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these, but because I have this one and now in uh, the, the Notorious B.I.G. one. Um, which was the first one that came out. So this one showed um, that it was originally what about fifteen bucks, fourteen ninety six or something, and the sticker said eleven twenty two, and I'm like, I don't know if I want a broken one for eleven twenty two. Scanned the barcode on this, and it came up at eight dollars and forty two cents, so almost almost fifty percent off. So even though he's broken, it, I figured you know for a penny's worth of glue, it was worth it to try and fix him. So um, I picked him up as well. So um, altogether, I spent 10 cents, 60 cents, sixty, $2.60, $2.60 plus $8.42. So three, like 11 bucks and got all of that stuff. Um, so I thought that was an awesome deal, awesome deal up at Walmart. And I did pick up some other stuff at full price, which is, that's going to be the part of the second part of the, the video, some the other Funko stuff that I did pick up while I was there. Um, but let's get to my other favorite thing, which is mini brand balls. So I've got two different kinds. So <clears throat> my mom found some actual mini brands balls and she picked me up three of those. And then um, I got, I've been wanting these and I'd like to thank JLH and PopVids HQ for my new addiction to these. But these are the Toy Mini brands, which are amazing. Um, so I did open one of each to show my mom. This is the Mini Brands one. So we'll start with the Mini Brands because you guys have seen me open Mini Brands before and I doubt we'll get the same reaction as I did. So this is gonna be, I think this is the Mini Brands. No, this is the toys. We'll hold off to that. So first mini brand ball. <clears throat> so the first item that I got was the pure silk. So this is a uh, spa therapy shave cream, and this is raspberry. I did look, and this is a. It's just a common, which is fine. And then I got Moon Pies. I love these little teeny tiny boxes. And I know that my camera doesn't zoom in as well as, as some other people's do working on it, working on it. But it's really neat that you can actually read the packages on the back. Like they are actual teeny tiny mini brands. And my mom hadn't, I don't know how my mom hadn't seen them before. Because I know that I've opened them with my niece before, but my mom hadn't seen them. So she wanted to see them. So I got a Spam, the light Spam in a can. And I thought I got lucky because it was gold, but... This isn't the actual gold one. And I got Skippy Natural Creamy Peanut Butter. I love that these are only like, like what is that? Like a little over an inch tall maybe? I don't know, I'm not really sure. And then the final one in here is we got a Warheads canister, super sour. I think this is probably green apple. Yep, apple flavored, artificially flavored, twist off the cap. So I don't know if this is a, oh, it's a spray. It's the spray candy, Warheads. Okay, I didn't notice that before. <clears throat> All right, next, mini brands. Not open yet. Not open yet. And any duplicates that I get will probably be put into giveaways. And I appreciate everybody being patient with all the giveaways not being sent out yet just because I didn't want to knowingly contribute no matter what anybody says to getting someone else possibly sick. And since one of the people in my office actually had bacterial pneumonia, um, I also did, I don't know what, what transfers and I just didn't want to take that chance. So um, everything is going out this week for anybody who I owe stuff to. So I apologize for the delay. Um, things I could order and send I did, uh, but <clears throat> I've got a few other things that I had to mail out the people some wins and stuff all right ball number two i don't understand why they put two two um layers on it but whatever all right so this one's all sealed i'm gonna start with this one first and oh cool 
We got the Dinty More Beef Stew. Look, they even colored the tab just like that, which is super cool. So the Dinty More Beef Stew can, I wonder if this is like a family size. 20 ounces, one pound, four ounces. It's a lot of beef stew. 10 grams of protein. Woo 10 grams of protein. And I know that we're, we're looking for, and I still haven't gotten a rare one or anything like, or like a super rare one. So there's gold ones. There are super rare. There's glow in the dark ones. Uh, and then metallics, which are the ones that you're looking for. And all the rest are common. So maybe we'll get lucky in one of these three balls. Let's see. Oh, we got the other warheads. Okay, so we got the, the um, blue raspberry spray warheads. So I got both of those. I think I probably should do like what everybody else does and actually keep one of these checklists and knock them off as I get them. And apparently someone's trying to tell me that I need to shave my legs because now I have Skintiment shaving cream. So I got two shaving creams today. Hint. Hint, maybe. That's three. Oh, got the other moon pie. So this is the banana. I think the chocolate is the rare one. So this is the banana moon pie. So now I've got two different ones of those. So, so far, knock on wood, no duplicates. Oh, no, and I didn't. And I think this is now, where's the list? I think this is all of the warheads now. Spray candy. So this one is watermelon. The watermelon spray candy. <clears throat> Why is that one so heavy? It's not metallic. The warheads do come in metallics, but none of those are. Uh, so I think I must have just gotten all the common ones. Yeah, these are just the common. So I got all three flavors of that, though. <clears throat> all right. Got another one, another one. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I hope Clara's puppy dog is feeling better. I know that we didn't get to do the, the Saturday stream yesterday. I wasn't going to be able to do it anyway, um, too, because of what I had to do in the house yesterday. So um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to make it, and she just decided that with everything that's going on, she was going to just skip yesterday, which is... Her option, obviously, her channel, and sometimes we have to remember that real life takes precedence over uh, YouTube and collecting and all that. All right, so final mini brands ball. We'll start here. You know, until I watched um, Top Bits HQ, I didn't realize that there were tabs on the side, so I was like breaking them open. All right, cool. So I got the Hormel Real Bacon. This is bacon bits. Shake it up. These are so flippin' cute. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Yeah, here's our first... No, it's not. So that one was... That's the spam can was the 25 less sodium. This one is a spam light. So I got two different spam cans. Now I need to get the spam Funko Pop to go with my little spam cans. Ooh! Ooh. Heck yeah, peeps. I don't, let me just double check, but I think we got a, a super rare gold finally. My first one. Let me just double check that this isn't a common and I'm going to about to look foolish, but that wouldn't be the first time. I look for, no, the other one is pink. So, woohoo. We got the gold cold stone. Creamery, I think this is a shake or frappe, whatever you want to call it. The uh, the super uh, rare one of those, so that's awesome. It's my first super rare. First super rare. Now, you know what that's going to do? It's just going to make me want to collect these dang things more. <clears throat> oh, yep. See, I told you they're really trying to tell me I need to shave my legs. So um, now we got the edge shave gel. So now I got a, a multitude of varieties. Oh, 
got a second duplicate. So this will be one that will be will be thrown in a giveaway or something. So this is the uh, another blue raspberry warheads spray candy. And wait, all of them? Nope. Wait, wait. Am I missing one? No, I guess that's all of them. All right. So <clears throat> all in all, not bad. We did get a super rare one. Um, I've got the others from when we did the show. They're down there in a container. I just got to mark them all off. I'm sending a few of those out to people. Okay. So this is what I was super excited about. These are the Toy Mini brands. And they're just teeny tiny versions. So you saw that my mom does the world's smallest and everything. But um, am I missing one? Oh, it just fell out. All right, so this is the one that I already opened just to show my mom. This is a Crayola container. It's not gonna, it's not gonna focus. This is uh, washable glue, Crayola washable glue. And then we'll get into the ones that did that. The, the uh, this is what I love about this though. So I saw these on PopVids HQ. I, I haven't seen um, JLH open these yet, but look at this. The little package actually has a teeny tiny little dinosaur. Now, it, I don't think it functions because these are Robo Alives. And obviously, I think they would probably um, work or, or move or something. But it's but they did put a teeny tiny dinosaur in that package. How flippin' cute is this? And there's one in here that I already know um, that I'm going to have to give to my niece. This one I saw PopVids HQ open, and I absolutely freaking adore this. It is the Narwhal Fingerlings. And I don't know. I just think Narwhals are cute. And plus, you know, from um, Elf, the Narwhal. Hi, buddy. So I think that's super cute. And that's in a blister pack, which that's that's part of what I love is is the blister packs for those. Now, this is the one that I'm just automatically giving to my niece because I don't even want there to be a problem. And because she is a six-year-old girl, she's obsessed with Jojo Siwa. So this is the Jo... And she actually has a Jojo Siwa bow of her own, like a human-sized one. So I'm going to give this to her um, just so she can have it. I have no use for a Jojo Siwa rainbow bow. Put that down. And the last one, also super cute because of the packaging on it, is a Dora the Explorer backpack. And you can kind of see, see how it's 3D? I put the backpack, let me get my fingers out of the way, my big fat fingers out of the way. So it's the 3D packaging. The packaging is cool because you can actually see on the back of it everything that's on there. So we got three more of these to open, kids. So I know that I'm at 18 minutes and part of the time is trying to open these freaking things, but whatever. You don't want to watch it. Don't watch it. I don't care. I think these are amazing. And I'm, I mean, I know that there's rares and ultra rares and stuff in here and I don't remember what they are because I don't think I have the, the thing anymore, but um, we did that whole show with Pop Bids HQ and we talked about minis and I started opening them and I have opened a couple of things like, uh, the Shopkins and stuff with my niece before and, because she's just obsessed with the mini stuff too. And my nephew have gotten him into, um, Funkos and he's actually just as anal as I am about like how he shows them off and box condition and everything else. So I have completely ruined that poor kid and he's only nine. All right, let's see how we did. We still got two more after this. So the packagings are pretty much the same. They're all these like orange, I call them orange wedges, like albino oranges. Um, so if you, if you ever took the outer skin off, you wouldn't know what you had. All right, so the first one is, ooh, sweet. So this is the Nickelodeon Metallic Slime container. Let me see if I can... That's awesome. Now the package isn't metallic, so I don't think it's worth anything else. So the golds we're looking for is an X shot, a Rubik's Cube, and a SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, does this glow? This could be a rare glow in the dark. 
No, I don't think this one glows. We'll put it up to the light real quick and see. Yes, I just looked inside my hand. I don't have any of those cool black light. No, doesn't glow. All right, so this is not the rare one, the glow in the dark one. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Hello, Fenway. Oh, yes! Okay, I was hoping to get these. These are adorable. These teeny tiny packages of the Crayola. This is the washable markers. Yes, my dog is jumping on my boxes. I wanted that for sure. Those packages are so flippin' adorable. And we got the non-rare, but again, this is one of those cool ones that it is the, um, what is this? Who is this by? X-Shot Reflex 6. So look at the package. So you got the teeny tiny little Nerf, Nerf style gun. Shoots the little foam bullets out of there. Obviously they don't give you any of the little foam bullets, but, uh, that's super cool. I love the detail on these. And that's the best part of it. And I think that's why I like them so much is because, um, like I know that my mom's, uh, world's smallest actually are functioning, but these, oh yes. Um, these are so detailed as far as the packaging go. And I really wanted this because it's Michelangelo. It is the Michelangelo mask. And obviously Michelangelo is my favorite Ninja Turtle. So we got him Let's get the back here. So I'm glad I got that one. We got one more on this pack. Oh yeah. I was hoping to get this one too. I saw somebody else open this and I was hoping to get it. So this is the, um, Mypasaur. So it's this little ro robotic, uh, dinosaur thing, but you can see inside the package is actually the little tiny dinosaur. And I don't know if you can see all the way in there, but you can actually see it. They did build the little dinosaur. I don't Oh, he is on the wheels and everything else, but even, I mean, every single surface of this package is just like you would buy it in the store, which is amazing. Oh, amazing. So I'm glad I got that one too. Um, yeah, I think that's all of that one. All right, two balls left, kids. Two balls left. Stop, Fenway. You can't have these. They're, these are these are even too small for you. And she's gonna go lay down. She's not happy with me right now. So I took her over to my mom's to pick up the mini brands balls, and I got a really funny shirt from my mom because everybody knows that I have a super bad t-shirt addiction. Um, my mom got me a really funny one that to to wear, but I will show that off when I do the second part of the Walmart pickups videos, which will probably drop maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. All right. So this is ball number three of four. So far, no duplicates. Oh. <laughs> So I got Karate Chopper Spongebob Squarepants. <laughs> I love these. They're so cute. So cute. I mean, I honestly, I think more than anything, because I'm such a, oh, here's a duplicate. So we'll be giving this one away. One of these away. So we got another one of the Mypasaurs. So we'll be giving one of those away. Um, or I'll give it to my nephew. I don't know. Yes. Now, this this box is a little screwed up, um, which is fine. I mean, obviously, I'm not looking for mint for tiny. This is Ren. There's, uh, oh, this is Stimpy, right? Yeah, I think this is Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. And he's in his little blister pack. Oh, collectible. I would assume that this box in, in real life would be about the size of a Funko Pop box. But he's adorable. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, um, maybe you don't, maybe it's because my, my family's into antiques and stuff like that, but they used to have these things that like showed off like thimbles or tiny little, little collectibles, like little spoons and stuff like that. And, um, so I thought about getting one of those and putting it up on the wall and putting all of these, the, the, um, 
the different ones in there because they do have like some of them have like the taller locations where I could put like this, the warheads. Um, I don't know if I can get them big enough or maybe I'll just have to build one myself. I'm not sure. All right, next one. Crayola 64 pack of crayons. And obviously they don't put many crayons in there, which is, I mean, that would be really cute if they did, but um, I don't think there's a, a unless you're going to give it to a mouse in your house. I really don't know how you would color with those anyway. So let me see why they didn't. Oh, yeah. So inside my, I got a mini brands unicorn squad ball. So these look just like, I don't know if it'll show. But they've got the little tab on the top and it shows the little wedges. This doesn't open, so there's no sense in taking the plastic off. It doesn't open, but super, super cute. All right, last one. We have last ball luck like the last one. Possibly, possibly. Who knows? Uh, I'm about to stab myself in, in my own stomach with these scissors because I'm being an idiot and not paying attention. <clears throat> last ball last ball I will say the inner package is a lot to get, a lot easier to get off especially if you just take and slice along one of the se seams of the, the, the wedges because um, it just pops off easily and then you can pretty much split it right down But again, I don't know why they wrap it twice. Maybe to keep kids out of it in case they do pull it off. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see if we can do last ball magic. Can we get a glow or a metallic? The other thing I kind of want is some of those little tiny shopping bags that you can get with these. All right. So we got a... It... <laughs> I don't even... I think this is a llama. Boppy the booty shaking llama. I now have a booty shaker in the house, guys. Beyond Fenway. A little blister pack you can see, or, or the container you can see with the plastic in it. They put a teeny tiny booty shaking llama in there. That's super cute. I'm sure if my niece sees that, she'll want that as well. Because she likes anything that's magical, pink and purple. Yes! Okay. So we got another one of the Robo Alives. This is the snake. Oh, and I'm dropping it. Can't hold on to it. All right. So the snake, you can see. And yes, I mean, it's ridiculous. If you, I, I mean, my old ass eyes can't read this, but if you take a magnifying glass to that, you can actually blow it up and you can read what the, the wording says on the package, which is cool. Let me keep one of these checklists too. See what we need. One, two, three more to go, guys. Ooh, I don't have, we don't have these either. This is the Bunch of Balloons package. You can see it's, it's actually in like a little foil package. So that's cool. And there's like a piece of like foam on the inside. So it's even squishy. Like if it had the balloons in it, but that's super dope. Oh, we got a, uh, another duplicate. So this is the. Uh, washable glue again. That'll be a giveaway as well. I don't know what these things are worth. I, I never really asked before. I don't really care. Oh, we got the, the last of the uh, Crayola stuff. So we got the Tempura paint set. I think this is supposed to, it's, it is supposed to be red. Yeah, red, yellow, and blue. So your primary color is it's the washable paint. So you got the red, yellow, and blue containers and you can Make any colors with your three primary colors. So that's awesome. So all in all, we only got uh, one, two, three, three duplicates out of seven balls. So that's awesome. I uh, can't really complain about that at all. But um, I'll probably put this and this and this in as an extra in a giveaway. Um, you know. I mean, we all collect stuff, and so these mini things are, are ridiculous as far as what we're collecting and, and stuff like that. But I have, like, the old bay to send to Joanna and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> all right, so what's coming up? 
So, um, for those of you who have been living under a rock and you haven't heard about Big Dog Dave's uh, upcoming charity auction, it, that is going to be taking place, I think, on April 2nd, I think. Um, so, on Tuesday night on Collector TV, uh, we are going to have um, Dave on. Uh, we're going to show off the one that we, uh, Collector TV, had commissioned for him. Um I'm excited to do that. It was something that we really wanted to do for, for Dave and um, I hope you guys like it. So uh, I'll show you what the packaging is going to look like. It's going to be available in his auction. Um, super, super cool. Uh, we'll talk about where, where we got it from. I'll link all that stuff on Tuesday night. Um, so I hope you guys can join us because Dave is doing this for uh, an organization called Puzzle Pieces Squared. Uh, we will have links to the charity um, Tuesday night, so in case you want to donate in advance, but make sure that we uh, all support him in his whatnot auction, which is coming up. It's either the second or the sixth. I'll have to look, and um, we just want to make sure that we give him as much support as possible because he's he's absolutely he's got no direct connection to um, the charity whatsoever. It's just something really cool that he's doing um, to help out a friend. Um, so I'm excited about that. So Tuesday night, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words, and I don't know why. And then immediately following us on Tuesday night is Mama J Inspector. Um, so they are at nine o'clock um, right after us. She always has cool quizzes and everything. And I don't think it's this week. I think it's next week that I will be defending my title on Are You Smarter Than a Specter? So um, make sure you guys tune in. I could be wrong. It could be this week. I have no idea. Um, I never pay attention to those things, but this is, I'm going to wear my shirt for that episode so that I can, uh, can be a part of the crew here, uh, from winning two, two of the shows. And if I win, which I don't think I will, because I'm playing against two very, very smart individuals, um, I will go into the, the hall of fame for, are you smarter than a specter by winning three in a row? And if I lose, then I just get to walk away with my tiny keychain which is so adorable and my sticker and my shirt. So um, one way or another, I still got more out of it than I ever expected. Uh, it was, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you, in the first round, you get to pick um, a category that you think that you're going to be really good at. And um, hopefully that the other two people are not. Uh, I knew that other people that I was playing against. So I kind of picked my categories based on that. Um, I, I mean, I know one of the two that I'm playing pretty well. I don't really know Wabasaurus that well, so we'll see what happens with that. Anywho, all right, this is long enough. Um, I'll probably be wearing the same outfit in the next video because I'm going to film these back-to-back -back so that I can get them done and in the can since I have time on the weekend to do it. But um, everybody enjoy your Sunday. I will talk to you guys soon. Collector TV, Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Mama J, Inspector, 9 o'clock p.m., Tuesday, right after us. Uh, it'll be a good time. It's a great couple of hours uh, on Tuesdays when it's Tuesday. The only other thing that, that happens on Tuesdays is tacos. All right, guys. You have a wonderful afternoon.